In my recent video entitled Understanding the Recent Spike in Global Surface Temperatures, I noted that the apparent spike in global surface temperatures that began in 2023 was caused by a rare three-year-long La Nina event, followed by a relatively strong year-long El Nino event. The La Nina phase led to colder ocean temperatures, which allowed excess heat in the atmosphere to be absorbed in the upper reaches of the oceans for about three years. When the El Nino Southern Oscillation weather pattern shifted from La Nina to the warm El Nino phase, that excess heat was released back into the atmosphere, creating a rapid, almost unprecedented rise in global average surface temperatures. This initially was thought by some to be a temperature spike that would begin to recede when the El Nino phase ended in June of 2024. In this update, we show that the large increase in global surface temps has continued for yet another month. So I would say that as of now, there is better than a 50-50 chance that this is a step increase rather than a spike. This chart shows monthly global average temperature values in the lower atmosphere from Dr. Roy Spitzer's University of Alabama Huntsville website. While the result for November 2024 on the right side of the chart is down slightly from that for October 2024, it is still well above the long-term average. Over the 44 years of data shown here, there have been a few temperature peaks that coincide with strong El Nino events, but none have been as strong nor have lasted so long as the one that started in 2023. This chart from the University of Maine Climate Reanalyzer shows daily values of the average surface temperature over the same period as the previous chart plus about half the month of December 2024. The orange line with daily average surface temperatures for 2023 covers the end of the three year long La Nina event and the beginning of the year long El Nino event that started in June of 2023 and continued until June of 2024. The sharp increase in global temperatures began in early July of 2023, continued through the remainder of 2023, and has lasted now through the end of November 2024, almost 16 months. Note that the overall variation in global average surface temperatures over the course of the year is caused by the tilt of the Earth's axis relative to the plane of its orbit. This chart from the Climate Reanalyzer shows worldwide daily average sea surface temperatures. As in the previous charts, the orange line shows the 2023 values and the red line the 2024 values. The 2023 sea surface temperatures started out somewhat low, but rose to anomalously high values as the three year long La Nina event ended and the year-long El Nino began. The end of the El Nino phase was marked by a small drop in sea surface temperatures. The November and December 2024 sea surface temperatures are noticeably lower than for the same months in 2023, but remain anomalously high. The recent lower sea surface temperatures suggest that the predicted weak La Nina event may be beginning to take hold. The data we have so far is not yet sufficiently definitive to say if the large upward global temperature anomaly is just a temporary spike or whether it's part of a long-term step increase in global surface temperatures. Recent predictions from NOAA say that there is about a 60% chance for a weak La Nina event to develop by the end of 2024. If the predicted weak La Nina event occurs, 
we likely will see at least a modest drop in global average surface temperatures. But currently, it looks more likely than not that the anomalous step in global average surface temperature will be a long-term phenomenon. For those of you who haven't seen my previous video on this subject, I've included the link here. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section of the video, and I will do my best to respond. As new data come in, I'll be posting more updates. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button.